Hi, this is Cindy with Scrapbook Dimensions Magazine. Today I want to show you how easy it is to set up this screenshot program that I talk about in the article on the website. And so I'm just going to walk you through the whole process and we'll see how easy it is. First of all, just go to gadwin.com. Then just click on Gadwin Print Screen 4.4. And what you will get is a download box. Just click on Save File. And I'm just going to save it to my desktop and then I'll erase this download file. Okay, depending on the browser that you have, in Firefox I have this download uh, page and when it finishes downloading I can double click on it to start uh, to open the file. But if you don't have this browser or your browser doesn't do something like this, go to your desktop and just click on the file that we just downloaded, Print Screen 4 for Setup. Okay, click on Run. English or whatever language you want. Click Next. I agree. Make sure this is where you want it to go. I like to put my programs in under the hard drives, uh, program files, and then it puts it under its own folders. So go ahead and click Install. Okay, now it's done. Um, you can leave these boxes checked if you like. You can run the program and it will also bring up the readme file but right now I'm just gonna uncheck that one. So click finish. What you'll see down here at the bottom is a little icon for the print screen program and it tells you to capture image press print screen source which it defaults to the print screen button on your computer. Okay, if I right click on this icon, I can click on Properties. And we have some different uh, things that we can change, different settings. So for example, under Preferences, the hotkey is the print screen button. But look at all the options. If you don't like that button, you can choose any of these other buttons that you want. Okay, you can also set it for an initial delay before you capture and that could be if you need to get to a certain spot before the capture takes effect. Usually it's just an immediate sh uh, screenshot. I like to have it run at Windows Startup so that it's always there in my box down at the bottom on my toolbar. Okay, under Source, um, the captured area, you can have it be the current window, a uh, full screen, uh, rectangular area and usually I like to choose the area that I want to screenshot so I've chosen the rectangular area and if you want the to have the mouse cursor captured on there you can have this checked. Next is the destination. You can choose to have it copy the captured area to the clipboard. You can have it captured to the printer. You can send it to email and you can send it to a file. You can have it ask for a file name after capturing or you can just have it automatically name it screenshot and then you can tell it which folder you want to put it in and the default is in your documents and settings under well under my documents and then under a folder called print screen files. So that works good for me because I can just go to my documents and click on the print screen file and find the screenshot that I just did. Okay, on if you click on image, right now it's set as a bitmap, but what I'd prefer is the JPEG. And you can resize it. I just left it alone. And there's a few other options you could play with. And then go ahead and click OK. Alright, so let's say that I want to do a screenshot of my wallpaper. So just go ahead and I press print screen on my keyboard 
And because I told it that I could um, make a rectangular area, it has a little little talk bubble there that tells you, reminds you what to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and click and drag around this part of my wallpaper. When I'm done, I can hit the Enter key, or I can go outside the rectangle and press my uh, right key on the mouse. And there it is. So it comes up in this file. This is the nice part because now, you know, usually if you press print screen, then you don't even know if it captured it. You don't know where to put it, what to do with it. And so you can go ahead and you can change the destination and tell it to go somewhere else if you change your mind. Or you can just go ahead, continue output. It, it will put it in a file. And as it processes, there is the folder for the print screen files in my documents. So, and then here I can go ahead and leave this name or I can name it something else, which I, it's easier if you name it something so you know what it is. And so I could do um, wallpaper screenshot and click on OK because it tells you that the capture has been captured. So now what I can do is I know that I have it in that file and I can upload it to the web, I can upload it in an email, I can do all kinds of things with it. So I just wanted to show you really quick how easy that is and anytime that you need a quick screenshot you can just press your hotkey button and it does it for you and it's so cool. So I'd love to hear what you think of this and I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye.